I so this is gonna be another movie review. This one's called The Beautiful, The Bloody and the Bear. I believe it's from 1963. I could be wrong. Um kind of reminded me of Color Me Blood Red meets uh, Country Cousins, that kind of thing. Uh, this movie is about boobies, boobies, and more boobies. So, actually, all kidding aside, uh, it's about a uh, a nude painter dude who teaches nude painting classes in his studio. And then the photographer comes. Uh, I guess a friend that he hasn't seen in a while. This all takes place in New York City, by the way. Um, and the photographer dude starts shooting new photos. So you see a lot of naked uh, white women, their butts and their boogies, TNA pretty much. You don't see any pubic hairs, but um, yeah, the, the camera angles are, are carefully done. It's almost like a uh, Japanese pink film from the 70s with ugly white women. But um, yeah, these babes, they have uh, typical white boobies. In other words, uh, doorknob sized nipples, pink colored. Maybe the left side nipple is a little itty bitty smaller than the right side nipple. Uh, not very attractive if you ask me, but that's just my personal opinion. Um, however, I did like this movie. Uh, the first 45 minutes is just nothing but boobies. And, uh, a little bit of uh, booty, but um, basically the photographer, the nudie photographer, he he, uh, he sort of make this funny face like whenever he sees, uh, well maybe not that exaggerated, but it was funny looking, um, whenever he sees like uh, red hair or red nail polish. Um, so eventually he shoot, shoots this rather comely looking white chick named Linda. I think she's white or maybe she's Puerto Rican. Who knows? Um, she's got the huge nipples, like I said. And um, she accidentally cuts her finger on a tree. And then he just goes ballistic. He strangles her and he hits her over the head with a rock. Um, you don't really see much blood at that point, but uh, there is quite a lot of blood at the end. That's why it rem reminded me of Color Me Blood Red, because it looks like bright red paint, the blood in this movie. Um, anyway, so Linda's roommate pops by, um, asked to model, and uh, the dude gets mad. He says, I'm not in the mood for uh, taking pictures, nudie pictures. Then he uh, he smacks her in the face and she gets a bloody nose, so he starts going ballistic, making that funny face. And uh, he stabs her with a knife. And then he goes after his buddy's uh, his painter buddy's wife. Um, so I I enjoyed this movie. I gave it five stars. I think it gets a 3.3 .3 rating on IMDb, which is pretty high considering the. Uh, the ratings of the movies that I've been watching lately, usually they get like a 1.9 to 2.5, somewhere in that range. Um, so five stars on Netflix, just to let you know, is um, would be a 10 star on uh, on IMDb. So I, I uh, thought of it more favorably, naturally, uh, than most people on IMDb. Uh, but that's just my per personal preference. I thought it was funny. The dialogue was bad. Um, it was just kind of weird and creepy, like um, Herschel Gordon Lewis movie, uh, Blood Feast. That kind of. Um, and the dubbing is is terrible. The acting is bad. Uh, the cinematography is really bizarre. Um, for instance, uh, when the guy's talking, he uses a different voice, and his and his lips aren't moving. It's almost like a Japanese Godzilla movie in that respect. <coughs> Excuse me. So if you see my previous videos, you probably uh, know what type of movies I enjoy. 
uh, this one definitely gets highest rating. Check it out later.